Welcome back from the break rams. Now, when legendary CSU athletes leave campus, we try to never let their names slip memory. And this couldn't be any more true than David Roddy. The basketball forward is the highest drafted ever from Colorado State, and KCSU's Portia Cook caught up with the former Rams star in Memphis while he finishes his rookie season for the Grizzlies. My name is Portia Cook with 90.5 FM KCSU Fort Collins. I am here in Memphis, Tennessee with the David Roddy. Now, David, Fort Collins misses you, CSU misses you. What do you miss most about being at CSU and playing ball at CSU? Yeah, oh man, I just really miss the community. Um, you know, again, campus is beautiful. So uh, down here in the winter, you don't get too much sun. So that's what I really miss the most is just the sunlight, uh, 300 days of sun out there. Um, and just really just my teammates and my, and my um, you know, my friends out there, really just not seeing them every day. It's a little bit different. Um, but again, you know, I try to keep in contact with them as much as possible and uh, just really just support them from afar. What has made sticking with the NBA the right decision for you? Yeah, uh, I mean, you know, being in the right position uh, to be drafted by Memphis uh, in the first place was, you know, just I'm, I'm just super blessed to be here in the first place. Um, again, just really just trusting that process and believing in myself and betting on myself um, as well as just understanding that it was, you know, time to move on. Uh, as, as hard as it was to understand that, uh, you know, I just trusted myself and had faith in myself um, that it was a right decision. And now, you know, I'm here and um, just enjoying my rookie year and just experiencing everything for the first time. Now, I know it's still very early in your career, but is this where you expected to be sitting at in your rookie year at this point? Yeah, I didn't really expect to do anything my rookie year, really. Uh, I didn't know what to expect. So uh, for me to just, again, just contribute to the team as much as I can to, to winning uh, is, is is an achievement of mine I, um, and it's a goal of mine. So I just want to do my best every day to just continue to do that and just be, be more consistent with that. Now you will soon be headed into your second season. What's next for Roddy in basketball? What can we expect to see from you in the future? Yeah, just hopefully just uh, development, you know, through the years, uh, you know, again, you know, summer leagues coming up and, uh, you know, playoffs first, of course, but uh, really just development uh, in every facet of my game. Uh, and, you know, we'll see what happens next year. I love it. Well, again, my name is Portia Cook. I am here in Memphis, Tennessee with the David Roddy just drafted last year in 2022 from Colorado State University. David, thank you so much for being here with me today. I truly appreciate it. Thank you. Go Rams. And joining us to discuss more on her conversation with David Roddy is the one and only Portia Cook. Cook is the news director over at KCSU, but will be a CTV sports contributor tonight. Portia, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for having me. Very excited to be here. We're yeah. excited too. And so the first question that we have, so you traveled all the way down to Memphis to do this interview with David Roddy. Just yes. kind of take us through that process and what that experience was like. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I think traveling to an entirely different state and not only that to interview Roddy an NBA player and um, having media credentials for such a big game um, it's a lot there's a lot of moving parts to it so you know you have the little things like wanting to make sure you pack all the right stuff and you have all of your media yeah. stuff do I have all of my cameras I ended up forgetting all of my audio equipment <laughs> <laughs> um, but aside from the normal travel going through DIA hopping on a plane um, and getting to Memphis um, I think one of the really neat parts of being able to be a part of this experience was getting to check in as media mm -hmm. at the FedEx Forum and going even just through the hallways and going through the media rooms um, and just seeing the behind the scenes of what takes place. So it was a very, very neat experience. Yeah. No, that's mm -hmm. definitely really cool. Yeah, right, absolutely. Right up and close with them. Yeah, really absolutely. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so what ended up happening is the um, I did have access to the shoot around, which took place yeah. the day of the game, and that was around 10 a.m. So I was able to go there, um, take some photos and video of them shooting around, and um, right after that was when I did my interview with Roddy, that's awesome. um, which was wonderful. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Then just going along with the questions here, Roddy talked a lot about trusting Colorado State and kind of the system they have with Medved. How important do you think those words are, especially to a team that had kind of a disappointing season this year? You know, that's a great question, and I do think it is highly important. And, and not only when the team is doing good, um, but when we do have some struggles. Mm -hmm. And I think what Roddy speaks about when he's talking about trusting that process and trusting in Coach Medved is, you know, it's unique to hear from somebody like Roddy because he does have that 
more personal behind the scenes relationship with Coach Medved. He sees a little bit of what we don't see on the outside. And for us as fans, sometimes it can be hard to trust that process. Mm -hmm. You know, we have kind of this focus of, you know, we want our team to do the best, yeah. we want to be winning consistently, but I think what Roddy speaks to is the process sometimes means those highs and those lows and those ups and those downs. So trusting that that yeah. is a part of the process and that Coach Medved is here to lead us to exactly where we all want to see yeah, our yeah. team be. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's cool they have like such a close relationship, which like yeah, shows how absolutely. he's doing so well like right now. And I mean, you talk to Roddy about so many things, like <laughs> CSU, what he's doing now. Is there like a specific moment in the conversation that stood out to you the most? Yeah, you know, I think it's really, really unique to hear about just the human part of being a player. You know, a lot of the times we see the glitz and the glam and being on the court and the celebrity of being right. a player, but I loved when he spoke about the dynamic with his family and his mm -hmm. family transitioning out to Memphis with him and even the little things that he still values of just asking his mom and his brother how their day went just to have some type of normalcy with him mm -hmm. um, on a day-to-day -day basis. I think it's important for us to see that and to remember while he is out there balling and doing his thing, um, while he's the legendary Roddy, he's mm -hmm. still a brother, he is a son, he is a friend, and right. he still goes home like all of us and still has you know, a life to live outside of basketball. So I really, really liked that. Yeah. He's yeah. a true human being. Absolutely. Like, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's really cool about that. Indefinitely. Too. Mm -hmm. I think when, when you're in those back, those kind of like close up to them, you don't really realize that kind of stuff. You think they're just stars, but then you get kind of close up and you realize they're they just are, kind of players. They're just like us. Yeah. They just play <laughs> basketball really well. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> then going away from the players, what was your main takeaway from the whole experience, just what you did? Yeah, no, absolutely. There were so many different pieces of learning here for me personally and professionally. Mm -hmm. And I think for myself personally, something that I really took away is just having the confidence in yourself mm -hmm. to go out there and do whatever it is, even if it may seem a little bit scary at first. Yeah. Um, <laughs> go 10 toes down, go out there and prove to yourself that you can do mm -hmm. whatever it is that you put your mind to. So that was um, awesome to me, proving to myself, you know, you got this. Yeah. You've, you've taken the time to really hone in on your skills mm -hmm. and become a subject matter expert. And opportunities are always gonna be out there and present themselves to yeah. you, make sure you're ready. And I've done that. So going out there and um, doing the best job that I can yeah. um, was wonderful. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, Portia, thanks again for coming in. We really appreciate you taking the time and joining us tonight. Thank you both so much yeah. for having me. Such a cool experience. Awesome Absolutely. Experience. I'm jealous. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it was very fun. Well, you can catch the full <laughs> interview between Portia and Roddy on KCSUFM.com on the homepage by scrolling down. But in the meantime, Leah, please tell me we're getting CAC's closeout. Yes, we are, Mike, and in it, I have another former CSU basketball legend. That's coming up right after this.